The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Ever dream of escaping to uh, like a secluded island paradise? You know, a place untouched by a... By mass tourism, where, you know, those turquoise waters lap against pristine shores. Yeah. Well, today, that's what we're doing. We're diving deep into a destination that just might be, uh, like, your ultimate escape, and that is Tuvalu. Tuvalu. We're talking remote islands in the Pacific, a tiny nation with a fascinating culture. Right. I've got this traveler's guide here, and honestly, it's got me itching to pack my bags. We're talking stunning beaches, vibrant marine life, and a chance to experience uh, like traditional Polynesian culture. Amazing. So to set the scene for us, can you give us a quick geography lesson? Where exactly is Tuvalu and what makes it so unique? Okay, so uh, picture this. Okay. Nine coral atolls mm -hmm. strung like jewels across the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. Wow. That's Tuvalu. Okay. It's one of the smallest countries in the world. Really? Yeah, it's tucked away between um, Hawaii and Australia. Oh, wow. And its isolation has really allowed it to retain this, like, incredible, pristine beauty. Okay, so we're talking nine tiny islands scattered across the Pacific. That's uh, that's pretty off the beaten path. The guide, I'm telling you, like, it does not it does not skimp on the beach descriptions. I'm talking picture perfect stuff. Can you can you paint us a picture? What are these beaches actually like? Okay, so imagine uh, imagine this powdery white sand. So fine. So fun. it feels like silk between your toes. Oh, wow. Palm trees swaying gently in the breeze, casting like these dappled shadows on the shore. <laughs> and then there's the water. Yeah. The most incredible shades of turquoise, crystal clear, you know, just inviting you for a swim. Okay. I'm already mentally booking my flight. But, you know, you know me. I, I like to do a little bit more than just work on my tan. Of course. The guide mentions something about Tuvalu having a, like amazing marine biodiversity. What's the story there? Yeah, Tuvalu, it's like a haven for marine life. Really? Beneath those turquoise waters uh, lies the vibrant world of coral reefs. Wow. We're talking intricate coral formations, home to like a kaleidoscope of tropical fish. Amazing. And keep your eyes peeled for sea turtles. Oh. They're known to frequent Tuvalu's water. Oh, okay, that sounds that sounds incredible. But any any chance of running into reef sharks? You know, I have a healthy respect for those guys. Um, Yeah, you might. But they're generally quite shy. Okay, good. But, you know, that's part of the beauty of Tuvalu. Oh. It feels like stepping into a, like, pristine, untouched world. Yeah. Speaking of untouched, let's dive into the culture. Yes. The guide mentioned something called Fatelli, which, honestly, just reading it sounds amazing. What exactly is that? Fatel is the, like, heart and soul of Tuvaluan dance. Really? Imagine this. Villagers... Um, dressed in vibrant costumes woven from pandanus leaves. Oh, wow. Their bodies moving in like perfect unison to the rhythmic beat of drums and chanting. Oh, my God. It's more than just a performance, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a way of preserving their history, mythology, and cultural heritage passed down through generations. Wow, that sounds incredibly moving. Yeah, it's powerful. Are there any customs or, you know, like etiquette tips that our listeners should should know about to, you know, to be respectful when experiencing, uh, you know, Tuvaluan culture. Absolutely. Respect is like key here. Dress modestly, especially when visiting villages. Mm -hmm. um, it's also considered polite to ask permission before taking photos of people or sacred sites. OK. And if you're offered a gift, it's customary to accept it with your right hand as a sign of respect. OK, good to know. So it sounds like Tuvalu offers an experience unlike any other secluded beaches, incredible marine life yeah. and and a chance to connect with a vibrant culture that's that's deeply connected to its roots. 100 percent. So as we wrap up, here's a thought for you. In a world that, you know, that feels increasingly chaotic, imagine finding yourself uh, immersed in the tranquility of Tuvalu. Is that the kind of escape that speaks to your soul? Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.